investigate. New at six is a triple murder that's been a cold case for eight years, but now we're seeing police have a suspect. Lacey Chris joins us live from the newsroom with more. Lacey. Yeah, police have long suspected Juwan Matthews was the culprit. He's been in federal prison in California on drug charges, but investigators tell us enough time has passed. Witnesses who were afraid to talk have now given valuable information. There's, there's nothing, I don't know anything that I can compare losing a child to. Mary Helena has waited a long time for justice for her son Aaron Woods. This Mother's Day, she can rest assured that police have nabbed the man they think killed her son and his friends Ryan Lockridge and Frank Mister. I'm not jumping up and down until this is over. And even then, I mean, this, this is death. It, it's, on my end, it's very final. Police say the men were in an intergang feud that escalated. The shooting happened by Mr. Cool's sports bar. Three were killed, several more were injured. Greed, money, and, and, and weapons and pride were involved. Juwan Matthews was in court today to face the charges. Investigators argue it may have taken a while, but they feel confident they have solved one of the worst crimes in Racine. It's, it's kind of bittersweet because, um, I mean, due to the fact that he's up there, um, it, it still doesn't, it still doesn't, uh, take back what happened. So whether someone is convicted or not, we are still going to be grieving. So there are no winners. I do want to see justice. And Matthews was given a $500,000 cash bond, but he won't be on the streets anytime soon. He still has a few years to serve on his current federal drug charges. Reporting live from the newsroom, Lacey Crisp, today's Team J4. Yeah, family never gets over anything like that. Lacey, thank you very much. Well, it's a bill that would let Milwaukee City work.